this is more of a process, so I'm gonna go through step by step. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's your show. Well, it's, I mean, that's a terrible pun. Step by step. You got the right stuff. Just hanging tough. <laughs> Please don't go, girl. Today, do whatever you want with all that footage you just filmed. <laughs> <laughs> So today, I'm gonna first start by making my mother's pie crust. So, I haven't done this in a while, I have done it, um, but it's been a while. Um, my kids in general, we're not big pie people here. Um, we like key lime pie, but that's with a graham cracker crust. You gotta start out by having your butter diced and cold. So it's a stick and a half of butter, and you have to have vegetable shortening, which is really gross, but it's what my mother did, so this is what I'm gonna do. Um, it's a third of a cup. You gotta have a half a cup of ice cold water. I've already sifted my flour, a, tea, a teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of sugar. So I have everything, then I have my stuff to roll out the dough. I think what we're gonna do is make the dough, then refrigerate it for a little bit, bring it back out, roll it out, and we're gonna make her cinnamon roll cookies. So the cookies are very special. It's one of those memories I have growing up as a kid. But they're really simple. You just take the pie crust, you put some butter over the pie crust, sprinkle sugar, cinnamon, roll it back up, and then cut them. So that part's gonna be fun. Maybe we'll get a chance to help me with that part. Maybe not. But, so I've sifted my flour, all the dry ingredients. I'm gonna put it in my food processor which this is a fabulous piece of equipment because I have a small one and a big one, but this is great for this kind of stuff. And I'm just gonna pulse this a few times just to... <laughs> okay. So that was just to get the, the salt and everything mixed together. Then I'm gonna add the shortening and the butter, and I'm gonna pulse it so that, you want it to be like pea-sized little pieces of butter with the flour wrapped around it. I mean, you'll see as I do it. Um, it's, like I said, it's been a while since I've done this, so. I'm gonna put the shortening in here, which is gross. I mean, it's one of them things. What is shortening? What is it? All right. So we got the butter there. I'm gonna pulse it. Right, it looks like it's about right. Do a few more times. Okay, now with the machine running. Oh yeah, it's definitely got the butter in it. We're gonna pour the ice water down the little tunnel here. Is that, does anyone know what this is called? Because <laughs> I was gonna say something else, but. Oh boy. I was gonna say the shaft, but <laughs> we know how that'll go. <laughs> So as the ice water is going in, you'll start to see it's gonna form the dough. here and then we're gonna make it into a ball and put it in the fridge for a little bit. But I can tell it's right on point. And I'm gonna portion this out into two balls. 
Um, Cause when we roll it out, that's how we're gonna roll it out into two sections. The butter into, you know, add the sugar and cinnamon. So there you can see we have our pie dough all incorporated. Looking good. Just gonna cut it in half. Make it into like a semi ball. Then I'm gonna get some plastic wrap. Let them get a little cold. If cold, it's gonna be easier to roll it out. And that's it. I'm gonna put them in the fridge and we'll be right back. Okay, so the dough is cold. It's in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Put in that longer, it really doesn't matter. Um, and I'm just gonna roll it out. You wanna roll it into like a square rectangle shape, I guess. So I'm just gonna flatten it a little bit first. I mean, normally we kind of use these for uh, pizza. Yeah, this is the zombie stick. You want to gently do this because it's not like pizza dough. It's a little more delicate. And if you're rough with it, you can like kind of destroy it. So I'm going to kind of roll it out and then I'm going to use this to cut it into the shape I want. Make sure it's not sticking. Yeah, here we go. mind I haven't done this in a while so feeling it out with the first batch of the dough so I guess you want it a quarter inch thick is uh what you're kind of going for which this is getting close I would say this is not a rectangle or a square but it's not bad because I would be able to roll it. So, where's my my trusty assistant? Did she clock out? Oh, there she is. Yeah. That's okay. What do you think? That's a, about a quarter inch thick? Chance failed baking school. So I'm just gonna try to cheat it a little bit, form it up a little bit. But I know my mom's was never like perfect. She didn't roll it out into a perfect square or rectangle or anything. But as long as you think you can roll it, then you can add the butter. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. Then you can add the butter in the mixture. There we go. Just gonna fix the little holes. So here we go, taking the butter, and I'm gonna do what my mom did. She just would take it, put it on there, and spread it out. Oh man, her love for butter was something else. It was butter on everything. And then just feeding my son butter, just butter. I think some people do this with like melted butter. I just remember my mom doing it this way, so that's the way I'm doing it. You guys can, maybe you have a different way, you can do it that way. I just wanna kinda cover the whole surface. I was gonna ask my trusty assistant, but I don't know. You got the butter? Looks good. <laughs> it looks good? Yeah. Covered? Yeah. Got my brown sugar and cinnamon which some people use just sugar. Just sugar. Yep. My son insisted that I use brown sugar, right? Yes. Yep. Hey, what do you think? Is this, did I put too much that? No, I think pretty good, right? Yeah. I'm gonna actually, like my mother used to kind of just sprinkle it around, like, 
Everyone, I'm gonna try to be a little more exact with it just to cover all the butter. Okay, and now we're gonna take the dough and start to roll it. So I think once I get it started, it's gonna be fine to roll it. What does everyone think? Does people, do you guys think I'm gonna accomplish this? Like, it's gonna yeah. happen? Oh yeah, Looks look good. at that. Yeah, look at good. that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so now we get them on the pan to go in the oven. Now you gotta remember, this is like all reminiscent to me. My mom, um, this is one of my favorite cookies she made. Um, so I'm gonna cut off the ends because that part didn't really get any of the brown sugar. We can use that with the next batch. In about a <clears throat> half an inch thick. And I'm, I'm really trying to remember in my head how my mom's looked. But that's pretty good. I'm happy. And I think the people in this house are gonna be happy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm we're rolling, man. And they just, they look like little cinnamon rolls, which is pretty cool to me at least. Okay, I got the oven set to 350 and they're gonna go in for like 12 to 14 minutes. They're going in the oven. I mean, this was pretty cool that I did the, haven't done it in a while, got the pie dough right. And now they're gonna bake for 12 or 14 minutes. Think they're ready? Taking them out. They look like hers. They look good. We'll have to do a taste test in a bit. Rose, what do you think, Rose? Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have one right here. The cinnamon roll cookies. They look like my mom's. Let's see if they taste like them. Very um, bringing back a lot of memories. Um, I mean, I did pretty good for my first try. Could use maybe a little more brown sugar, but just a little bit more. I have to see what my kids think. But for me, I don't like, I'm not a sweets guy. So this is kind of really perfect. Mm. Betty Woods cinnamon roll cookies. Fantastic. Mmm. Delicious.